Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're testing out another lip plumber. This is a little sample of the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I got this in a Scattered by Sephora's box. It's a very nice sample, and it just comes with a doe foot applicator. I was a little bit confused on Sephora's website because the full size was listed in the clear as 0.05 ounces and then in the different colors that you can get, so you can get colored glosses, they were 0.084 ounces. So I double checked the numbers and it just didn't seem right to me. So if you buy a full size, it's 38 Canadian dollars. And apparently this is more product, like it doesn't make any sense to me. If you're interested in these guys, definitely do a little bit of research. Otherwise, you can still get it at the time that I'm recording this video on Sephora's website in the Sephora Scouted Kit, which is still in stock right now. And that box is $28. So just like a normal lip plumping video, I'm going to put this on. We're going to give it 10-15 minutes to let it set and do its magic and plump my lips up. You can see right now my lips are a little bit dry. It is minus like 30 here in Canada this week. It is so freaking cold here in Edmonton and it definitely takes a toll on your lips when you're out and about in the cold. So hopefully this is really hydrating like it claims to be and I don't need to apply any lip balm or anything. I can just stick to this plumping lip gloss. So it's actually quite a sectiony um, cap to get the product in and out, which is, oh f I just broke it. So that's interesting. Don't have too much fun with it. Okay, take two. So let's get, oh for f sake. Pardon my language. So if you buy the full size, it definitely comes in a different tube. It comes in something that looks kind of like a, like Touche Claire pen with the Soap and Glory lip mother plumper, lip plumper like tip where you can like kind of put it around your lips very easy because this is just totally broken. I'm gonna have to find a different way to dig it out. So first impression, this, this sucks. Broken off Q-tip. Okay, so I got some product on there. Kind of has like a vanilla scent to it. It was totally clear. Seems like it's got a nice shine to it. And actually, I think I could probably just use the stick instead of a Q-tip and just go that route. So far, there's just maybe a mild, mild tingle, the t mildest tingle I've tried from a lip plumper so far. Alright guys, so I'm calling it here. There was no big like stinging phase. There's still like a little bit of warmth on my lips, kind of something. But I don't think it's going to be like this crazy bang pow where popped and like bloated looking on the lips. So, I don't know, do they look any bigger? I'm gonna say the gloss looks really pretty. It's not really sticky, it's a very nice, comfortable, almost kind of like a balmy feeling, kind of thin. And it's got a nice kind of bee venom smell with a, like, just the slightest hint of vanilla that I do kind of like. If you don't particularly like the stinging sensations that you get from lip plumpers, but you wanna kind of feel that lip plumping sensation at a very minimum level, maybe check this one out. Um, it is incredibly expensive and because it is very hydrating and nice and it doesn't have like huge stinging potential, um, I feel like this is one you would want to keep reapplying, reapplying and kind of like keeping your lips really nice and warm, nice and moisturized. 
like I said, the gloss is really, really pretty. Overall, I personally am gonna give this one a two out of five. I think for $40 for, I'm not too sure how much product, like if I was ordering online, I would be like, I have no idea how much product I'm actually gonna be getting. And like, is it gonna be about this? Is it gonna be about this much in a full size? Well, actually, wait a second. This is 0 0.05 ounces. So this can't be 0 0.088. They must have forgotten a zero or something. I don't know. You're getting more like this amount of product. Um, but I really like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. I'd say the lip, plump, lip plumping experience is pretty much non-existent, which depending on you might be a good thing if you hate that burning sensation. Anyway guys, this review has kind of been crazy. I'm kind of like all over the place. So, so thanks for checking out this product with me here. I'd say overall, just give it a pass unless you're looking for like your new HD gloss and you're willing to spend a ton of money to get it. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up, leave any feedback, comments, anything you wanna let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye. Hey, welcome to the bonus footage. It is... Bonus footage. Advent calendar time. Advent calendar time. Okay, 15th, so. It's the 15th today, so where is the 15th? Oh, it's way down here and like it's another tiny, tiny thing. Is it gonna be another makeup sponge? It is probably the biggest fail yet. It is a makeup brush, but it has totally got messed up in the packaging. Oh, <laughs> Maybe if I wash it and try to re-straighten it, it'll uh, straighten out, but it got a little bent out of place from the packaging. Is it still usable? I mean, I probably wouldn't use it anyway, yeah, to be honest. Like a solid thing or anything, but... But yeah, that's kind of funny. They tried. Yeah. I think I'll just skip these guys next time. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're looking for like a complete package to do your makeup with and, you know, this gives you eyeliners and all that and you don't already have one, you might be usable. No. No. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, it probably fits in the compact, which is like its only redeeming factor, but go. no. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, maybe a brush protector would have solved that for another like 10 cents. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.